times I've ever struggled with math problems, I finally found someone who is definitely going to help me. So welcome Arthur Benjamin to hip to be square Thank you, great to be here. Okay, so you're known as a mathematician. Why exactly do you have that title? Well, I love to combine my loves of mathematics and magic to do something I call mathematics. Math and magic are a pretty unusual combination. What inspired you to put the two together? I've always enjoyed mathematics ever since I was a kid. I love numbers and patterns, but I also like showing off. And I would do magic shows for children's parties. And later on, I, when I started doing shows for older audiences, my father suggested I put some of the mathematics into my magic show. And to my surprise, it got the best reaction of the show. You've probably heard, you know, most teenagers say that they hate mathematics. Why should they be interested in the subject? Even if you don't find a subject interesting, the subject is very important. Nothing opens more doors for you professionally than background in mathematics. Whether you want to go into law or medicine or run your own company, you need to understand numbers, you need to understand how to think logically and critically. And conversely, the more afraid you are of mathematics, the more doors are going to be closed to you. So mathematics is, 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 is going to be one of the most important subjects you're ever going to learn in your life. Six plus three is nine, plus eight is 17, plus nine is 26. How can mathematics improve your cognitive abilities? Uh, well, mathematics is all about thinking logically and critically, and it establishes you as a problem solver. And life is full of problems, and, and mathematics provides a laboratory for disciplined thinking as well as creative thinking. Finally, what's the most fun you've had with mathematics? You know, probably the most fun I've had was I've applied mathematics to, to playing games very well. In fact, that's what got me interested in mathematics in the first place. And about, oh, about 13 years ago, I used mathematics to win the American Backgammon Tour. And uh, so that, that was a very nice and financially rewarding application of mathematics for me. Okay, now I am armed with a very pretty pink calculator and I'm going to ask you to give us a couple of demonstrations of what you are capable of. So what do you want to do first? Okay, well let's test the calculator first. Okay. Give me a two digit number. A uh, two digit number, so I'm going to give you 45. And another two digit number. Um, should I add them to get the multiply We're going to multiply them. Okay, so I'll place multiply by 95. If you multiply those numbers together, you get 4,275. That's insane. <laughs> okay, what else can you do? All right, well, I'll give you a shortcut for multiplying even faster on the calculator. Okay. There's something called the square of a number, which is taking a number times itself. For instance, 5 squared would be? 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 25. Mm -hmm. Now, the way we can square on these calculators is by pressing the number like 5, then hitting times and then equals, and that gives you the square in one step. That's a good what, way. What I will try and do is square some numbers in my head as fast as you can do on the calculator. Okay. So go ahead, give us a two-digit number. A uh, two-digit number, 86. Is 7,396. Correct, okay. Good. Let's try a three-digit number. This a three-digit number. Closer. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you 672. That'll give you 431,284. Wow. <laughs> Let's try a four-digit number this time. Okay. Give me a four-digit number. I'm not going to beat the calculator on this one, but I'll try and get it right. And to make it more interesting for your audience, I'll think out loud so they can actually hear what's going on in my head. It's not going to make any sense to you, but it's actually what's going on in my mind. Go ahead. Give okay. me a four-digit number. I'm going to give you 8,624. Okay, let's see, 9 times 8248 is 73,800 plus 432 is 74 million. No man, no man. Uh, the original number was 86... Uh, 24. 24, right. Okay, so now I, I, I add to that um, 376 squared. That's 400 times 352 plus 24 squared is 141,376. My cash, I take 141, add that to no man to get 373,376. I think you should look at the calculator. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now I know you can do crazy multiplication, but what else can you do? Um, here's something kind of fun with birthdays. Now, do you know the day of the week that somebody was born on, maybe yourself or your mother or your brother or something? I actually like do know what day my brother was born on. Okay, so give me his birth date, including the year. I'll try and tell you the day of the week. What year was it, first of all? Well, the year was 1987. Okay. Uh, the month was May. Okay. And the day was the 15th. That was a Friday. 
Thank you. 